What's poppin'? It's your boy Fawn. Today we made pillows, right? And to make these pillows, you finna need some fabric, some stuffing, something to sew it up with, or you can glue the seams, whatever you feel comfortable doing, and some scissors. And also, I have a surprise for y'all at the end of the video. I got the sample for this shirt in today. And I will show the back at the end. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into it. All right, so what I'm doing right here is just cutting my fabric into the shape I want to be my pillow. And I'm just cutting it into any random shape just to show you that it can be anything you want it to be. And now here, I'm just basting it, surging it all the way around. You could pin as well, but I don't really use pins. But yeah, you're just gonna base it all the way around and leave about a good, a good three inches or enough to put your hand in it and flip it inside out. All right, now this is me actually sewing it close. Take this time to say, y'all like, subscribe, comment what shape pillow you finna make. Yeah, just sew it all the way around and, you know, leave the same spot, the hole for you to flip it inside out. Now you just want to stuff your pillow up with as much stuffing as you got. This some bullshit. This is the third time I'm recording this damn video. I could have sworn I had enough stuffing, but I don't. So we're going to Walmart, get some stuffing, and head back here to finish. All right, just got back from Walmart. I'm headed up to the lab. Just, you know, legally acquired some stuffing with American US dollars. And I actually also copped what I might make the next video on. Hoodies. Yes, we're making hoodies. Uh. All right, well, now I'm back here just stuffing it with the rest of the stuff and I got. And then um, after this, we're going to hand sew it closed. So you just want to find a good point, get a knot in that hand, sew a needle, and just start going. And you just go all the way until it's closed all the way up and you see no hole and you can't put your finger through it. Alright, and once you get there, you want to push the needle up through it. Wrap your thread around your needle and this is like locking it in. And then pull it, pull it all the way tight. Your needle should go through the hole. And pull it off. Probably cut it instead of uh, biting it. Then you just want to uh, mash your pillow down. Get it nice and fluffed. There you go. You got a pillow. So essentially, that's it. That's how you make it. Just make sure you pop your corners out, and you can do it with any pattern. And if you wanted to make like a definite shape, you can pop up a piece of pattern paper on a projector or a big screen, trace it, and then put it onto the fabric and cut it out. But yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with the hoodie as soon as I can. Alright, I know I promised y'all these little seven seconds. Here's the back of the shirt. Thank y'all for whoever stayed. And yeah, I'll be back with the hoodies.